Welcome back to my channel. This is Mac and today we're working on something a little different. I found something probably about a year Maybe even two years ago Ugh. And I wanted it for my my garage so uh, Let's go ahead and see what I'm talking about It is this stoplight So the idea is I'm gonna take that stoplight get it working and then mount it somewhere in the in the shop and i really don't know where yet so maybe i'll have a better idea after i get it all working but let's uh let's go ahead and take it apart see what's inside it and see how it goes here is the unit right here you can just unscrew these these come off which gives us access to all the wiring So, a lot of dirt, a lot of wiring. Anyway, I need to pry that one up. But, very simple. Got two leads off of here. For all these they go into this little controller that was mounted in here and then it had a power wire it came out the top that's all been cut but i bought this cool thing these are new bulbs if uh, you kind of want an idea traffic signal bulbs and it looks like these bulbs might actually still be good so um, came with cool instructions, this little board, so I'm going to hook all the lights up to this thing, and I should be good. I'm going to go ahead and put you on my little tripod, and then start working on this and clean it out. So. Actually, I'm going to start cleaning out, then start working on it.
that wasn't that bad of an install. It's really easy, actually. Um, it was actually pretty scary when I first opened it up and I saw this, this wiring harness, which, you know, isn't that bad. I mean, they just have, I guess, the common wire, this wire here, white, all going to the one post, which is exactly what I did here. Um, I put all the white wires together in one connection and then all the other color wires go to each light so the whites go all together on the black wire um, on each one so the yellow black wire goes to the yellow wire green black wire goes to the green and the black one or I'm sorry the red one the red black wire goes to the red wire uh, the orange wire is not being used because this doesn't have a um, a signal for walking so this one is not being used so we leave that there and then you hook up the three power wires to the cable uh, green is ground for G uh, white is the L and then there is a actually the white is in and then black is um, L on here okay and what you saw me doing is I was messing with these little dials right here. Hopefully you guys can see that. All right, so those dials there, the one through six, are the ones I was flicking on and off. So the one I chose to go with is the full intersection, intersection wiring directions. I went with a two and a four on. And you can increase um, the wait time and all that stuff all right here on those little dials right there the green the yellow and the red that's how you adjust them so it's very intuitive um i'm gonna leave the settings like that for right now um and go from there so i'm gonna stick this thing at the bottom um so the connectors don't hit the side the last thing we need is this thing to um short out um I'll put the cost to this, I believe it was like 30 bucks, 30 some dollars. I'll put it below the exact cost. But I bought this little board, circuit board that controls it um, on eBay. So um, that was pretty nice. Uh, it came with really detailed instructions. That's a huge book. And remember when dealing with electricity, um, be very cautious. Make sure you unplug it when you're not using it. Um, wait till this thing is fully uh, mounted uh, plug it in you're good so I'm just gonna throw this away it's not needed um, it's real heavy gauge wire and now the decision to where to mount it um, I don't know yet what are you guys thoughts um, I was thinking on this back wall maybe in the corner over there um, maybe over here in the corner next to the door maybe right there above the Camaro uh, front bumper I really don't know or I was also thinking like maybe right between the two garage doors I don't I don't really don't really know love to hear you guys input where, where you think I should put it put it in the comments all right um, let's, let's see this thing all in action I have it all back together this is what she looks like. Let's go ahead and plug it in. Oh yeah. Those are bright. All right, that's super cool. So like I said, I'd love to hear you guys' feedback on where to uh, mount it. Uh, have us some ideas, but I'd love to hear from you guys on where I should put it. So until next time, guys, thank you very much. You guys have a good one. Bye. Today, we got a package from one of my subscribers, Lee. Thank you, Lee. And I have not opened it up yet, but uh, came this cool box right here. And uh, let's go ahead and open it up. Oh, yeah. Even if it was this thing, apparently my daughter really wants one. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> I have one. 
you have one? Yeah. Do you know? Do you want to borrow it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, as promised, I include the seals of my third. Oh, wow. Are you kidding me? Oh, this is amazing. So these are all the seals and weather stripping um, that he was not using. And it was just sitting in his garage. So thank you very much, Lee. This is, dude, this is amazing. The stuff still real, feels really good. It's like brand new. I know it was never used, but. Oh, this is amazing. Thank you. Thank you very much. Very genuine stuff. Uh, Under our glass rubber Oh, nice. <laughs> Muscle like car and <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, did you hear my stomach? Alright, it just made me just... <laughs> Dang it, I was really hoping there was... Something flew at me and attacked me. I don't know what it is. Alright. Well, thank you, Doc Pepson. Um, this heartfelt note, and I hope to see your car back on the road soon. I know it's on Jack Sands right now, and uh, uh, this really means a lot. I can't, I have really good fan base, and thank you very much for uh, sending this kind of stuff to me. This is definitely gonna be used. Um, mine's all crap and falling apart, so. Um, Future video to come, me installing this stuff because uh, I need to fit it all to the car, get all the jams all fit up, and probably take it all back off um, to paint and all that stuff. But uh, this is amazing. Thank you very much. And uh, let's uh, move on to the next thing. Thank you.